The Gamer Inside is a documentary web series that will be released in Creative Commons license uh, and uh, the content will be based on the experiences and memories and how a lot of people related with video games in some way like playing, researching, making arts or developing games are living the, the media. The project started in, in December 2010 when I was uh, starting to study a master in Alcala University that I'm now finishing it uh, and I decided to make a researching about how my close friends were um, living with, with games along uh, 20 or 25 years. I started to interview them and after that I interviewed more persons that are working in some field related with video games or communication, education and industry of gaming. So nowadays I have 180 interviews from 15 countries and persons uh, from 12 to 85 years old. We want to show how the media of video games, that's a new media, has impact the life of people, of people who is working or is living in some way related with uh, this new way of communication that it's video games and has only 30 years old. Now Brazil is in a very inter interesting moment for me and I wanted to see the history of gaming in this country and also now how the, the companies and the developers and the artists and the journalists are uh, compre comprehending this moment and are uh, living this moment. Thanks to Flavio Scribano from Arts Games and Instituto Cervantes from Spain, I traveled this summer along Brazil, along four cities, Porto Alegre, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo and Brasilia. And I could make some interviews very interesting. Recently, in October 2011, I came back to Brazil, uh, in concrete to Sao Paulo, to complete a series of interviews to persons that I thought will be very interesting to have a, a, an impression of how the Brazilian culture surrounds uh, around video games. Some more interviews to people very, very interesting for me. People who work in video game journalism, like Teo Acevedo from Hugo Jogos, or for example, people who work in the social aspect and cultural aspect of video games, like Roger Tavares from Game Cultura. And also I, I interviewed another, another people who is researching about games, like Unicinos, Persons from the culture, like Nino from Mega Driver, or for example, VJs or DJs from, from Sao Paulo. I want to show also so how some people who is not related with games is uh, living with this interesting uh, entertainment and way of, of uh, training some other uh, skills that are not uh, commonly seen. Like for example, uh, some, I have a surgeon in a hospital in Sao Paulo who plays some video games once a year and only one month. Persons from, from companies like Tectoy who develop Sega products since a lot of years and I wanted to, to know also how is the situation uh, with the industry, the developers in Brazil. And I have to thank especially to persons like Moacir Alves Jr., who is the president of ASI Games, who supported us a lot. Thank you to everyone who helped me and the team in Brazil, and we hope you enjoy the Gamer Inside.